Hey everyone, so I am here in sunny paradise and I just finished reading The Weatherman, appropriate because it is beautiful weather here today. And this is my favorite new book. Uh, I read everything Image Comics. I think most of the videos I've done so far have been about Image Comics. Let's just rename the channel Image Comics, really. Uh, I don't want to give too many spoilers away because there's kind of a reveal about that far through the book, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. But it's basically about a guy who is kind of very wanted by all of these groups of people, except for the, the dog here. It's kind of a misnomer, but it's just a fun touch. It's a mix of loads of influences. So it reminded me of, I guess, The Expanse a little bit in terms of sci-fi. Um, it's definitely an adult sci-fi book. It's kind of Frank Miller-esque in some of its artwork. It's, it also reminded me of uh, bits of Akira as well. I know these are really kind of basic references, but um, yeah, a lot of the art style is akin to that. And also if you are a big fan of things like Transmetropolitan, the Warren Ellis, Derek Robertson book, that's definitely something that has an influence here, I think, as well as maybe Preacher or some of the other Garth Ennis stuff, but definitely um, a lot of Warren Ellis's books in terms of his kind of his idea of futurism is definitely at play. So if you're an Ennis or an Ellis, definitely, definitely check that out too. It's set in the future, 2050-ish. It is all about a guy who's kind of being hunted by a lot of people. I can't tell you exactly why. He's a TV weatherman. Uh, he's wanted by a bunch of different factions. So you've got these kind of ensemble cast of really interesting uh, characters um, from all different kind of sects. Again, I'm trying not to give out spoilers, but if you love futuristic sci-fi that's kind of grounded in semi-real world in the sense that it's like there's a colony on mars there's a colony on earth there's a cataclysmic event involved of some kind and this guy is maybe or maybe not involved um we don't know and then there's there's an amazing touch of uh, the running man as well so like a game show um but it's all about uh instead of someone being put into a gauntlet being put into a life and death situation thinking that they are um, going to die and feeling real pain. So there's touches of like virtual reality and all kinds of other really cool, interesting stuff that although it's set futuristically makes it really, really relevant. Um, the costume design is amazing. Uh, the characters are great, writing's great. There's just loads of great cliffhangers and unexpected sudden turns of events, all in the first volume. Uh, second volume is out in March, 2020. So I suggest you jump on this right away. It's also got, which I really have to pull out because this is like very me. Uh, so this is the original Synthwave soundtrack to The Weatherman, which has got people like Magic Sword, Power Glove, BMX, all of your favorite Synthwave uh, artists. Yeah, a Synthwave soundtrack that goes with it, really sets the tone. I kind of wish they'd put that up front. I would have listened to it as I was reading, but it's, yeah, it's just a wonderful book. So props to Jody LaHook, Nathan Fox. I hope I'm pronouncing LaHook right. Uh, Dave Stewart, they've just absolutely smashed this book. And the alternate covers are just stunning in the back. Cannot recommend The Weatherman highly enough. So that's it. Go read it.